So many years ago, I started a practice of um, prayer and meditation on becoming uh, an expression of unconditional love, um, being modeled by the great beings and um, an incredible masters of this, this essence of unconditional love, a consciousness of unconditional love. And I prayed every day, Lord, make me um, an instrument of unconditional love, no matter in the face of what kind of adversity or what kind of situations may I be an embodiment of this, this thing we call love unconditionally. And through that practice, I realized that I would never be gifted um, an ability to and an and uh, and yeah, and an ability to be unconditionally loving. What I realized was that a capacity for unconditional love is inherent in every cell of my being. It's inherent in the depths of my soul, but it requires um, opportunities to wake up, opportunities to break out of a mold of limitations, out of the mold of conditions and preferences. And so through that prayer and through that practice, what I was given were all the conditions and all the obstacles and all the adversities that I did not love so that I could be unconditionally loving and that I could become that which I was longing to be and that I could be that which I was longing to become. And so my prayers were answered through adversity. And I realized too, that I would never one day in the future become that which I was longing to be. That I could only be it here and now. You know, we're a culmination of everything that we've ever experienced, everything that we've ever become, everything we've ever said and thought and done. This moment houses all of that. And so for, in order for me to one day be saint-like, one day be unconditionally loving, one day have forgiveness, I can only become that by being that right now. And maybe I'm not perfect at that. Maybe I don't fully embody unconditional love or fully embody forgiveness or fully embody fearlessness all these qualities that i that i um, strive for or at least um long to try to uphold and live inside of my my own life but by practicing them by being that right now it's a choice do i choose to be unconditionally loving right here and now or not because if i choose not I won't someday miraculous be, miraculously be unconditionally loving if every choice I make right here and now is the opposite of that. So those are just some lessons that I've learned. When we try to embody or we want to become something, something great, that we simply have to be that right now. And when we pray and we intend and when we visualize and when we do the things that we do in order to uplift ourselves and others to be something greater than what we perceive ourselves to be already right now, then what we will receive are all the opportunities to rise to the occasion, to become that and to realize that it's already inside of us right now. It's not going to be gifted to us. It is, it is part of of how we're made is part of our creations, part of our DNA, it's part of our consciousness. And so as we're given these opportunities, it's awakening that which is already inside of us to stand in the fullness of that. So may we do that together. May we support one another. And may we not lose hope in the midst of when we don't fully rise to the occasion, that every, every step towards rising to the occasion, rising to being that which we choose to become, um, may we just know that every little step, every little amount towards that is, gets us closer, gets us more in touch with it and awakens it a little bit more, little bit by little bit, a little bit becomes a lot.
as my teacher likes to say, Blair. So have a great day and be the change you wish to see in the world. It won't change without you.